And welcome back to the British Awards for British Films and British Actors Being British, the Bamfabababs. And your host, the very British, Jeremy Irons. And so we come to the award for the most British actor of 1996. And the nominees are Nigel Hawthorne for The Madness of the Mad British Mad King. One may be mad, Lady Wisby Trent's Pompington Beaufort, yet one cannot help but admire that delightful, splendid, and indeed quite marvellous, enchanting and lovely Elizabethan butter dish. Sir Anthony Hopkins for the remains of the British Empire. If one might beg one's indulgence, Lady Warfington Quagley Winslet, one might offer heartfelt congratulations for the splendid nature of one simply delightful butter dish. Ian Richardson for To Play the Brett. Well, it seems once again that one has been invited to Elevenses with no lesser person than Her Majesty and the delightful Lady Quamfington Chrysler Pasbo Sprizzly Wolverwover. One is in no doubt that the conversation will surely turn to butter dishes. Hugh Grant for sense and good old-fashioned British sensibleness. Um, if uh, one might be permitted to um, barge in at this juncture, obviously, uh, Lady... Carstairs, McScarfington, Updike, Woving, Putnam, Finchley, Plurping, Danforth, Robing, Ranfurly. One would obviously feel like something of a complete arse if one didn't mention that delightful, splendid and completely lovely butter dish. And Tim Roth for Pulp Fiction. I don't think we need to see that one. So it just remains for me to say that the bab for babab goes to Hugh Grant. Well, quite a surprise there, as of course much of the film is set in the present day. Well, uh, obviously, I'd like to thank everybody for being so lovely and British. Uh, this performance was really quite a stretch for me, and uh, I'd like to take this rather splendid opportunity to say something rather self-deprecating. Sorry, no time, Hugh, because it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the award for the oldest British actor of the year. Please give a very British welcome to Sir John Gielgud. Um, I'm not quite up the stairs yet. Well, while we're waiting for Sir John, I might just mention Emma Thompson. You'll have to keep filling, I'm afraid. Well, I might just point out, then, that the Lifetime Achievement Award for being far more British than necessary has been won by Sir Richard Attenborough. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sir Richard couldn't be British tonight and has asked that I be very British indeed on his behalf. And we'll be back after this break with the award for the most British film of the year and at least 15 more mentions of Emma Thompson.